Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and welcome to the newest Q&A. So it's been a little while, I like to do a Q&A every now and then. You guys asked a lot, a lot, a lot of questions this time. Like, I think this is the most questions I've ever got. There's like over 100 questions. So first off, thank you for your involvement, thank you for your participation, and thank you for your questions. Um, of course, some of them are kind of duplicates, so we'll just kind of go through them, answer them as such. Um, but what I'm going doing right now, I'm setting up. Um, I'm starting my barbecue, I like to smoke meat, some of you don't know. So I have uh, some beef ribs. They're kind of unconventionally cut. They're kind of cut more like a short rib. Usually I've had like the long ones before, but really good price on these, so can't go wrong. And then I have, so that's five pounds of beef ribs. And then I have 17 pounds of pork shoulder here. Um, so yeah, essentially pulled pork and ribs, beef ribs. And uh, kudos to the people at the uh, Burlington Longos. They're really cool. They helped me, uh, helped me out really good with the pork here. Uh, I'm also going to use my um, Gifted Camp 31 Real Southern Barbecue Pork Rub. Not sponsored by them, but they gave me this when I was at their place eating ribs, which was a really cool, um, like, unexpected gift. So I'm going to try this out today. So yeah, I'm going to start essentially rubbing these. I have my... Barbecue getting set up and my charcoal's being lit as we speak. And let's get into the Q&A. All right, so barbecue's ready. It is actually snowing outside. I'm not sure you guys can see that too well. But that means, even though it's kind of annoying it's snowing, it means that it's not super, super cold. So all I did, I took the pork. I didn't have to at all because you can cook it with it on, but there's like some of the actual skin, not just like the fat, but the skin on it. I just, I took it off. It came off really easy. Um, but again, you don't have to. I've cooked it many times with skin on it, still left a lot of that fat on there, that beautiful fat. Um, so depending on the rub and the pork, I don't always use something to make it stick, but I think I'm gonna use just a little, little, little bit of mustard. And this doesn't add any flavor, um, like you'll never taste mustard, but you just kind of put a little bit on it to make it adhere, the rub adhere a little better. I'll just kind of put a little bit on each of the two more, I'll call them meaty parts. Uh, so let's dive into the question. Is, uh, um, our friend Lynn says, when did you start, when did you realize essentially you could eat large portions and that I could take on food challenges? Well, I always liked to eat. I think when I really started to learn I could take on large portions was for a time I did like intermittent fasting. Um, and just like through that, you gotta eat large portions in a small amount of time. So, inadvertently, I basically got used to eating large portions in short periods of time. Now again, they weren't like 30 minutes, it was like a few hours, but I mean, you know, I was eating a lot of food. Um, Cadman says, what is a food or food that you will refuse to eat? Uh, I really haven't, found one yet kind of and I'm really there's one that I'm really on the fence with and I've never tried it like admittingly um, but balut just the idea of balut which is chicken or duck fetuses like in eggs I just oh man it's that that one sits really really weird with me because it's not even like I mean you're eating a freaking bird with feathers and like little like fur little bones even like just I don't know that one sits not good with me when you eat a normal meal do you habitually eat fast I do eat fast and it is something that I actually really have to try and work to do not to eat fast just because I've gotten into the habit of it so like trying to eat an, at a well, some people consider a normal pace is quite difficult for me to be honest with you. Do you prefer a smaller meal with a short time limit or a big meal with a long time limit? Um, definitely a smaller meal. Uh, there, let's be honest, like any of these food challenges which are, you know, I don't know, let's say like 10 pounds for example, you can't really enjoy them. It's just too much food. It's not It's not comfortable. I mean, like, you enjoy it to an extent. You enjoy the fact that, oh, it probably tastes delicious and everything like that. But you really just... It's not as enjoyable as, like, let's say a five, six pound 
even seven pound meal. But anything above that, it just gets, it's a little, it's just, it's not enjoyable, like I said. Not enjoyable. Um, what's your favorite chain restaurant or fast food? You know, that's a really good question. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really like fast food. Like some people are like, oh, I love McDonald's, I love Burger King. I really don't like any of that shit. Excuse my language. Um, I, if I'm going to like a restaurant or I'm going out, I'm going to like an actual restaurant. And generally like an all you can eat or buffet kind of style. So I mean, if, if that kind of counts, like if a chain of all you can eat restaurants counts, oh, Golden Corral, let's go with Golden Corral. I don't know, I'm, I'm just picking like a chain of all you can eat restaurants, which I actually really like Golden Corral too. Um, this is gonna get hard right here. What's one aspect of your eating game that you want to improve on? Um, speed, everything, capacity. Um, stranded on a desert island for 10 years. I can only bring one type of food that I have to eat every day for the next 10 years. What is it? Uh, barbecue. You can bring one person with you. Um, that's a tough one. Uh, and what would I choose at the end, which would be $100,000 or a lifetime supply of food from a grocery store? I would choose the food from a grocery $100,000. I'd choose the, huh, that's a tough one. I'm trying to think how much it would be to eat like crazy steaks for the rest of my life. Well, if I'm on the island for 10 years, I don't expect to live that long. So let's go with the $100,000. Um, and then the person, I'm not sure the person, that's a, I have to, I have to think of that, put some deep consideration into that. How many calories do you eat a day? Uh, often not enough to be honest with you. I mean, the days that I like, believe it or not, I've been way over dieting for the last few years, like because of the food challenges. So even though there's days I have way too many calories, there's days I actually really don't have enough and I've been losing all my gains. Um, because of it, so that's something I'm, I'm really trying to tune in a little bit, and zone, like zone in a little bit now, and kind of try to find the happy medium. But it's uh, it's a lot of trial and error um, because, like, if I do a food challenge or something, it can just vary so much. Uh, so that's a difficult, that's actually a really difficult question. But I mean, there's days where I only have like I don't know, maybe 20. 2,300 calories, which is not a lot for a male of my age that is at the gym probably like seven days a week, you know, so, and remains relatively active otherwise, so, yeah. All right, this looks good. It looks like it'll give him some nice, some nice color. I've heard it's quite salty, so they said not to use too much, so I don't use too much. Um, you coming to Central America, Oklahoma, Texas? Uh, yes, I will be down there. Does your jaw unhinge? How many fingers have you bitten? My jaw does not unhinge. I have definitely bitten my fingers a few times. Generally, my index or middle fingers. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? Not enough. Um, you do a lot of 10,000 calorie challenges and competitions. It's obvious about five times normal caloric intake. Do you fast before so you don't gain weight? No, I don't fast. I eat normal before. Sometimes the day after, I'll take it really, really easy on the calories, depending on what it was, et cetera, et cetera. Um, do I have Twitter? No, I don't, but I do need to get it. Um, would like to see you take a bathroom scale, weigh yourself before and after. It's not really a question, that's a request, but I mean, potentially. Most difficult thing I've eaten, um, I'll keep it simple and just say my like raw, the times I've gotten raw meat. Um, and then the hardest challenge, there's been a few, F, my computer is not working right now, I can't scroll. Um, there's been a few, uh, pancake challenge is one of them. Um, <sighs> can't scroll. 
uh, pancake challenge is one of them, a uh, shawarma fry challenge is another one. I just did a 20 pound ice cream challenge, that was definitely one of the hardest. Actually maybe, it's, it was up there, that's for sure. Um, I never, somebody asked if I caught the rat, I never caught the rat. Uh, the rat, I've never seen him around though, he's, he's, uh, he's disappeared. Um, certainly says, other than food challenges, fitness, what else interests you? Do you like poetry, art, kinds of music, reading? I like music a lot. I don't like to read, but I like music. I listen to a lot of music, and I sing all the time. Like, absolutely constantly I sing. Um, so I'm constantly singing. Oh, that's disappointing. That's, that's a whole bone they crossed there. Um, sing all the time. I don't read. I like to visit, like travel, I like to see places, I like to hang out with individuals and friends, and I spend like 30 plus hours on doing, well probably about 30 hours around doing YouTube stuff, and that's like not traveling and that's just like editing a week. So that takes a considerable, considerable amount of time. How long does it take you to upload a video? Right now I'm about two months behind. Um, about six weeks to two, yeah, it's probably about two months behind. So I mean, uh, ed editing the average video probably takes me, I don't know, somewhere between three and six hours. And then, you know, but then to shoot, I mean, to shoot a video that varies. And then it depends where, you know, how much content I have backed up. Like I said, right now we're looking at about two months. Uh, greatest and best asset, me. How, when and how do you introduce what you do to someone you're dating? I say I like to eat. Um, how did you decide to become a YouTuber and what were your initial thoughts? Um, I kind of like saw Randy videos. He's kind of part of the reason like why I kind of started this or got into it. I was kind of, I was kind of inspired from that. So... I don't know, I just was like, I'm going to start doing some food challenge videos. I never really anticipated, quote unquote, to become what we'll call like a YouTuber. Like, now there's, I've heard this with a lot of younger kids, they're like, I want to be a YouTuber. And I like, that was never my aspiration per se. But I like to like, I like to act and sing and hang out with people and, and do that kind of stuff. So, it kind of just fell into play, I guess. I mean, it's still only a part-time thing. Um, ha, have you ever had a moment after a challenge or eating session you became ill? Yes, that has definitely happened. Um, when you're not listening to music, what are you thinking about during challenges? Um, kind of, you know, it, it depends where you are in a challenge. Sometimes you're like trying to push yourself. Sometimes there's nothing going through your head. Um, it really just depends on the time. I mean, if it's later in the challenge, I'm probably encouraging myself or quote unquote pep talking. Because uh, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, that definitely varies. Depends where you are for sure. Um, And I can't, I can't scroll. So, what the, or maybe I can do it through a, a Kleenex? Oh, I can. What food gives you the most gas? Probably dairy. Um, what is the secret of the game? Uh, the secret? You just have to learn to eat a lot. It's just something you gotta get used to. Do you ever get tired of doing food challenges? Not really, are you gonna stop one day? Is there any kind of food that you refuse to eat? Uh, again, not really, but there's ones I definitely prefer and don't prefer. Somebody asked, how do you stay in shape? I made videos on this. Tell me about your job, must hurt a lot. Not really, but it does get tight, so I like, I often stretch it out. Um, somebody says, I've noticed Asian big eaters just look like they puke it out after they eat stuff. So I don't really see a question here, but I mean, they might, I'm really not sure. Uh, what pills, I don't take any pills surrounding food challenges. 
Somebody asked if they're going to die after eating uncooked chicken wings. It is possible. You could get salmonella. Watch yourself for the next few weeks. Look for flu-like symptoms. Ah, oh, damn it. I lost it. Oh, come on, computer. It is big eating a gift or can it be trained? Both. Sweet or savory? Both. Does your brother eat competitively? No. I've seen you choke a couple times. What was the scariest choking time? Also, what's the best way to clear your food you're choking on? You definitely want to kind of jump, erratic movements. You want to try to get some airflow, try to dislodge that blockage. Um, you can give yourself the Heimlich. You can also get the Heimlich. Um, choked a couple times. The worst one was Donaire Contest. And then, I mean, I choked twice on burgers. They're all really bad, like complete air blockages. What are your plans for the future? Five to ten years. Uh, happiness, success. Just living life. Uh, trying to multitask here. Oh, this works. Well, it's not working quite as well for the ribs, or I'm just not putting as much time into it as I should. Maybe that's kind of what's going on. Alright, there you go. Good enough. Maybe I should have patted it down a bit more. It'll still be delicious. Alright. Um, what's your favorite food to smash? Oosh. I don't know. I, uh... I like a lot of food. I like I just like food in general. How did you cause all your injuries? Pec, leg, abdomen. Uh, definitely partially over training, over dieting, and just sometimes misfortune. Um, and like pushing myself. I always push myself like to the extremes and really sometimes it's just I, I do it too far. Uh, that's how it happens. How's your day going? It's going really well, actually. Just trying to get this barbecue on. Are you a good cook? I definitely can cook. Is there more of a challenge when you're on the bowl? Oh yeah, okay, is it more a challenge in the bathroom or what I've eaten? Nah, definitely eating. Um, does your jaw lock up when you open wide? No, it doesn't. Favorite thing to eat? Barbecue and animals. Real, sorry, animals in general. Favorite cooking method, barbecue, and then tropical fruits I really like as well. Uh, how do you eat so much in stay in shape? I made videos on that. What's your favorite place to visit in Florida? I've been to Orlando and I've been to Miami. Orlando I don't remember very well and then Miami was cool, but it was a lot different than I thought. Um, so like, I gotta see the rest of Florida before I decide on a favorite. Because Florida is a big state and it varies. Like, there's a lot of different stuff in Florida. I had to go put this on the grill. So let's give you a pause and we'll come back. And we're back, got the meat on the barbecue. Always practice uh, proper food safety, everybody, as well. These are disinfectant wipes, like Clorox wipes or whatever they are, Lysol. So yeah, definitely uh, practice proper safety because we don't want to die. Um, yeah, so I just kind of wiped everything off, just washed my hands, I'll probably wash my hands again. Um, so, do you shave your chest? No, I've, tra I've shaved it maybe uh, tw two or three times in my life, just upon request I've done photo shoots. After competing in a challenge with high protein or carbohydrates, how do you cope with possible constipation or high blood sugar depending on the situation? Uh, no, great question. So uh, on like food challenge weekends and on food challenges where I'm like doing food challenges, people are always like, what the hell are you eating again? Because I always eat vegetables like at night. So I do food challenge a day, I eat vegetables at night. Because constipation is a thing. Um, one weekend or so I haven't done that. I have almost or borderline potentially gotten constipated. So I also have a container of Metamucil I've uh, dived into a couple times. But uh, definitely I do recommend uh, eating vegetables. Um, somebody says, what do I do for work? I'm currently an intern in a hospital. Favorite city in Canada? I, really, I do really like Vancouver. It's very, very, very pretty and beautiful. But I also like the offerings that Toronto has. So I'd say those are kind of my two. I like the bigger cities. Favorite challenge of last year, would I do more spicy challenges? I'm not a big spicy challenge person. I don't, or let me phrase that. I'll do a spicy challenge, but I, I cut it off where it could cause like GI distress, like stomach distress, so I don't want that. Favorite challenge? 
I did my top, I did like a top 10 challenge video, I definitely recommend checking that out. Uh, if you could have a competitive eating meeting of the minds, if you will, most epic competitive eating challenge of all your favorite eaters, who would they be and who would the, what would the challenge be? So I think it's saying like, if I could pick any challenge with anybody, it would just be all my friends and probably a lot of barbecue. Um, I often wonder the same of all of you in elite eating. Do you all sometimes take any tests to see your blood pressure or sugar levels? Yes, I do. What's your favorite part about being on YouTube? Um, I just like to meet all the people. I have really cool experiences from it. I'm so thankful for everybody here. And so yeah, I just I, it's really cool. And plus, I get to I don't know create something which I enjoy. Have you want to do an Arby's video? Sure. I've Honestly, I've probably been to Arby's like once in my life and I don't even remember because I was so young. When are you doing a wing challenge again? Whenever I come upon one. I uh, love your show. Entertaining and exciting. Thank you very much, Annie. Uh, somebody say, I think you should do donuts. Um, past, uh, I don't think there's an actual question there. But yeah, thanks very much. You should take a trip to Savannah, Georgia. Would love to. Ever come to Texas? Not yet, but I definitely will. Waiting for your next fried chicken eating challenge. Yeah, I like fried chicken. Looking forward to one as well. I just need to come upon one. Are you going to come to New Jersey anytime soon? Um, at some point. I was in, I mean, every, the last couple times I've been to New York, I've been to New Jersey. Um, the only issue is there's not really many food challenges around New York in New Jersey, if that makes sense. Have you ever, oh, okay, no, not at reading that. We ever start a mukbang channel, mukbang? I don't know, that's an interesting idea. Would you guys like to see one? If so, comment below. What do you think you would be doing if you weren't a professional eater on YouTube? So, I mean, that's only like my leisure. That's my enjoyment. That's This is my hobby. Um, I'd probably still be in a very similar place. And really, it was only because I couldn't bodybuild and powerlift anymore with all my substantial injuries that I kind of got into eating. I always like to kind of have something that's really, let's say, an exertion of force, exertion of power, um, and difficult, like that kind of thing. So, in the absence of being able to power lift and body build and lift the way I wanted to, where that was previously how it would kind of have a competitive edge, um, that's kind of what happened. I kind of got into, well, inadvertently got into competitive eating and that's kind of where I find the fulfillment in it. It's like a competitive thing you can progress on, get better with. Somebody asks, when does the third world war start? Uh, apparently not anytime soon. Um, let's see, I think I might have missed one or two of the questions when I was stumbling with my computer. Somebody asks about electrons and antimatter. It's not my place. Uh, I think that's the majority of them, everybody. So with that, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Very much appreciate it all. Uh, really appreciate the support. I guess we got through that actually a little quicker than I thought I would. I think I got them all. Maybe I missed some. I, I better make sure it's there's not another kind of show more. Maybe that was it. Hopefully. Well, not really hopefully, but like... If I did, I'm impressed. Like, hopefully I didn't miss any. That's what I mean. So, all right. I, I think I got them all. All right, everybody. So thank you for watching. That was a lot quicker than I anticipated. Really appreciate all your support. I really, really, really do. Yes, this was really quick going through the questions because there's a lot of them. And I'm trying to, and I was kind of trying to multitask with the barbecue there. But we got the, uh, the barbecue out going. We got some smoke coming out of it. I got to go kind of check on it because I uh, slammed the vents closed. When I put the uh, the wood on it, I'm smoking with mesquite today. I'm always a mesquite or heavy, heavy, heavy smoke individual. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Lots more fun and videos coming your way. Also, some more travel. So please, I get so many comments uh, from people being like, I wish I knew you were in my area. It would have come out. So I don't really know how else to share it. I share it on my YouTube community tab. I share it often. Um, on Facebook, on Instagram, uh, 
If you guys have other ideas of how else to kind of let you know my travel updates, let me know. I'm very open to feedback because I post all the time and like that I'm going somewhere and I still get those messages, which is so disheartening because I'd love to meet you all. So that everybody, again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Till next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry. Actually, stay happy, healthy, hungry. Until next time, hopefully we'll be eating some barbecue. <laughs>